Hey guys, let's take a look at uh, quadratic inequalities greater than. We'll talk about this pretty soon here. But first off, let's look at uh, this question. If two numbers are multiplied and the product is greater than zero, in other words, it's positive, what are the two possibilities? In other words, you have two numbers that get multiplied. Oh, the answer is positive. What, what are the two possibilities? Either they're both positive or they're both negative. Yeah, that's the only thing that can possibly be. You can't have a negative times a positive that gives you a positive. So anyway, we're going to use that to solve these types of problems, which, whoa, might look complicated, but these are pretty simple if you break them down to uh, their parts here. So let's take a look here. You're going to graph this on a number line. So grab a piece of graph paper. No, you don't need to graph paper. Grab a piece of paper. Draw as easily as you can. So this is what we have. They will tell you to graph this. All right? That's what you need to write down. So you'll have x plus 2 times x minus 3 is greater than 0, and you're allowed to use real numbers, which is all the numbers, not just integers, okay? And don't forget, greater than 0 is the same thing as saying positive, okay? So if you have two numbers that multiply and give you a positive, there are two choices. This is one choice. Both x plus 2 is greater than 0, and x minus 3 is greater than 0. In other words, that's a positive, and that's a positive, right? Or the other possibility is x plus 2 is less than 0, a negative, and x minus 3 is less than 0, that's a negative. If you multiply both of those, they'll give you a positive. If you multiply both of those, they'll also give you a positive. Okay? So let's actually take a look at this. So we have two possibilities. They have to both be true. Let's, let's do the graph the first one first. So we have, if we have x plus 2 is greater than 0, that means that x is greater than negative 2. And this also has to be true, that x is greater than 3. Okay, well, what numbers fit this? Uh, if, you know, the number is greater than negative 2 and greater than 3. But the only thing that really works is that if it's both of those, is everything that's greater than 3, right? That fits both of those. If you pick, oh, greater than negative 2, if you pick 0 and everything else, well, no. 0 to 1 to 2 all the way to 3, that's not greater than 3. So it has to be over here. That's your first possibility, okay? So check, done. This, let's do this one, same thing. We have x will be less than negative 2 and x is less than 3. Well, if x is less than negative 2 and has to be less than 3, well, it's going to be have to, it's going to have to be all the way here to negative 2, everything to the left of that, because this fits both of those possibilities, less than negative 2 and less than negative 3. If you choose, excuse me, 3. If you choose, you know, just over here, then you'll have something like a 1 and a 2, and that's not less than negative 2. So that's what your graph looks like. That's all there is to it. All right, let's try another one. All right, this is uh, the same thing, except they're going to this time make you come up with those two binomials by factoring a, a quadratic equation. So x squared minus 2x is greater than or equal to 3. We are allowed to use integers. Okay, well, first off, let's go ahead and go x squared minus 2x, and then let's move this over there for negative 3 that's greater than or equal to 0. Okay, simple enough, all right? Well, let's go ahead and factor them. That's going to be x, and there we go, and greater than or equal to, okay. So we have to go, oh, it's going to, one's going to be a plus, and one's going to be a minus, and if it adds up to negative two and, and multiplies to give you negative three, that's going to be one and that, okay? So if it's going to be greater than or equal to, uh, or excuse me, greater than or equal to zero, then we're going to have to say there are the two possibilities. Uh, x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Oops, that's terrible looking. And x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. The other possibility is, of course, that x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. And x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Like that, okay? Just like our last one over here, was we switched it and went le greater than and less than. We're going to do greater than and equal to over here and less than and equal to over here because this means this is a negative, that's a negative, and negative times a negative is a positive, okay? So a positive times a positive is also a positive. So let's go ahead and solve for these. X is greater than or equal to negative 1 
and x is greater than or equal to 3. Well, if that's the case, it's, if it's going to fit both of those, it's going to have to be greater than or equal to 3, right? That's the only thing that fits both. So that's how we want to graph this. Because we're doing it this way because it says the domain is you're allowed to use integers for this one. So that's what it looks like, okay? Over here, we have exactly the same thing, of course, less than or equal to negative 1, and x is less than or equal to 3. Well, if it's, you know, both of those, less than or equal to negative 1, it has to be all the way here, and then it goes like that, okay? And so on and so forth, again, like that, okay? And there we go. That's how it looks, all right? So, let's go ahead and try the practice, two practice problems on page 449, and uh, pause it and try A first. All right, let's go ahead and do A greater than zero, so we have x plus one is greater than zero, and x minus two is greater than zero, or we have x minus, or x plus one is less than zero, and x minus two is also less than zero. So x is gonna have to be greater than negative one, and x is gonna have to be greater than two. So to match both of those requirements, you're gonna have to have x is greater than two and real numbers you're allowed to use so it's everything like that all right the other possibility is x is less than negative one and x is less than two well to meet both of those possibilities so it's going to have to be less than negative one and that's what it's going to look like because you're allowed to use reals right there okay pause it and now try b okay let's figure out this uh quadratic equation or inequality actually and we're going to move the 4 over and we'll have greater than or equal to 0. Okay and that factors this way. We have x minus 4 times x plus 1 and that's greater than or equal to 0. Okay so we have two possibilities. Let's just go ahead and skip a step here. I think we can do this in our heads. So uh, x is going to be greater than or equal to 4 and x will be greater than or equal to negative 1. The other possibility is x is going to be less than or equal to 4. And x is going to be less than or equal to negative 1. Okay, so it just matches the same kind of thing we did on the other side. Okay, in other words, this is going to be... Uh, you know, negative, and this is going to be negative. Boom, there we go. Okay, well, we're only allowed to use integers, so let's just use integers. X is greater than or equal to 4 and greater than or equal to negative 1. It's got to look like this. And so on and so forth. Okay, and if it's less than or equal to 4 and less than or equal to negative 1, it looks like this. That's what fits the both, and so on. Okay, all right, that is it for those graphs. See you guys next time.